Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to download the resynthesizer plugin for Windows. This is going to be for GIMP 2.10 or newer. So if you're using an older version of GIMP, this may or may not work for you. I'm not really sure. I haven't tested it with older versions, but this definitely works with newer versions of GIMP. I'll be using GIMP 2.10.14 for this tutorial, which at the time of this tutorial is the latest version of GIMP. But of course, before I get into that, I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here, as well as my GIMP book of layers and GIMP and Inkscape help articles, so definitely check that out. You can also enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass from beginner to pro photo editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting GIMPschool.com. And as I mentioned, you could purchase my GIMP book of layers on Amazon or get it free with a membership to Davies Media Design. I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. For those of you who aren't aware, the Resynthesizer plugin is a free third-party plugin you could download for GIMP. It's most similar to Photoshop's Content Aware Fill feature, and I do have an entire tutorial comparing the two features to one another, so I'll link that in the description of this video. But both of them essentially allow you to erase large objects found in photos. The Resynthesizer plugin for GIMP used to be found on the GIMP plugin registry, but they did away with that a few years ago, so now it's kind of hard to find a reliable link to download this plugin plugin from, or if there is a reliable link, there's not really a straightforward way to download and install it. So that's the purpose of this tutorial today. I'm going to show you guys both a reliable link to download this and how to download and install the plugin for GIMP. For starters, I'll come over here to the link for the Resynthesizer plugin, and this is on GitHub. GitHub is a pretty reliable source for downloading things. The main issue with GitHub though is that it's geared towards developers, so there's not really a straightforward way of downloading this plugin. What you have to do is scroll down here until you get to the readme.md file. MD stands for markdown. So I'll click on this, and that's going to open up the readme file for this plugin. And if I scroll down, there's some instructions in here and some other information. But up top here, there's something called Quick Start. And the first link here is going to be a link to the GIMP plugin registry archived page. So I mentioned the registry is no longer active, but they did archive it here. So you can check out the original page if you want. But if you're using Windows, come down here to this third link. And if you right click and go to open link a new tab or just click on it, it'll take you to the page that contains the resynthesizer plugin file. So this is the file we're after. And what I'll do is I'll come down here and click download. And on my computer, it asked me where to save it before it downloads it. I'm just saving this to my downloads file and I'll click save. So here is the zip file that's going to download and I'll go to show in folder to bring up my file explorer. So here's the zip file. What I need to do is right click on this and go to extract all. And I'll choose a location where I want to extract this. So I'll extract this to my downloads folder, click extract. Once it's done extracting, it'll open up the extracted folder here. So if I double click on this, this is all of the contents found within the resynthesizer plugin folder. We're going to need all these files to drag into GIMP, so keep this open. And I'm going to come back to my downloads folder here with my file explorer. We're going to use this to install the plugin in GIMP. So that being said, I'm going to open up GIMP. And again, this is GIMP 2.10.14, so the latest version right now. And what I need to do is I need to find the plugins folder where I want to drag these files for the resynthesizer plugin. So I'll go to Edit, Preferences. And I'm going to come all the way down here to the bottom to Folders and expand that. And then I'm going to scroll down until I get to Plugins. And I'll come up top here. I'm going to go with the very first file destination here. This is the file where GIMP prefers you upload your user preferences. So I'm going to copy this. Right click and go to copy. So make sure everything is highlighted here. This is just the location on your computer where your plugins are being retrieved from. And then I'll come over here to my file explorer. I'm going to bring up that original downloads folder. Or you can just go to file, open new window. I'm going to click on the current file destination here, which should bring up this highlighted destination. And I'm just going to right click and go to paste. That'll bring up this new file destination, which is where we want to go. And I'm going to hit the enter key and that'll take us there. If you have any older files for a previous version of Resynthesizer that you used for your current version of GIMP, 
or for older versions of GIMP, which probably don't work and that's why you're watching this tutorial. Make sure you erase all of those older files before you install the new files, otherwise this won't work. So in my case, I'm just gonna erase these files here. I actually installed this earlier. So these are the new files, but I'm just gonna erase them for the sake of demonstration. But once you've erased all your old resynthesizer files, come back here to your extracted resynthesizer folder and you can hit Control A to select everything. And then you're gonna click and drag all these files into your plugins folder. And next what you have to do is come over to GIMP and if I close this down, for most of you, you'll see that the plugin files are not currently inside of GIMP. For me, they are in here because as you guys just saw, the files were in my plugin folder. So what you'll have to do is close down GIMP and just reopen it. And now when you go to filters, enhance, you should see those plugin files here, which include heel selection, heel transparency. There's also some other ones, including if I come to render down here, you'll see texture and there's several other ones. I'm not going to go through all of them, but now let's test this out by opening up a folder. I'll test this out really quick just to show you guys what it can do. So go to file, open recent and open up this photo here and I'll hold control and zoom in, grab my lasso tool, and I'm just going to select the ducks down here, hit the enter key, go to filters, enhance, heal selection, and I'll just go with the default settings. Again, I do have an entire tutorial dedicated to the resynthesizer plugin and how it compares to Photoshop's content aware fill, so check that out. I'll just go with the default settings and click okay. And now those ducks have disappeared. I'll hit control shift A and there we go. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out all the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.